The Technomancer may not be, from an empirical standpoint, a paragon of polish, but from a production value and playability standpoint, it is a quantum leap beyond their eminently bitchin' predecessors, and an emphatic statement from a developer that may well be the very last vestige of the Mesozoic middle market. Spiders is a developer that, if it makes all the right moves going forward, is one, maybe two releases away from being where, say, CD Projekt was, a scant two revolutions of the Caesarian calendar ago, before the Visigoth hordes of WB Interactive penetrated their borders sack their cities and relieve them of their fucking souls. Compared to the pinto fucking a Harley clunkiness of its creamy predecessor Mars Warlogs, combat in the Technomancer is more fluid than Vince McMahon's sexuality. And so Vince calls me and he goes, let me tell you about my first homosexual experience. And my first thought was, as opposed to your most recent, <laughs> like you and Warrior on a bearskin rug? With a triumvirate of technical fighting styles, each with every bit as many fallibilities as favorabilities, transitions from which are positively seamless, even if you opt to be cucked and fucked by a controller on PC, might I add, if the only immutable criteria for a worthwhile sequel is a reticence to revisit its precursor for fear of how innately inferior the combat'll be, well, then the Technomancer is a resounding motherfucking success, and I say this as someone who savagely spooned Mars Warlogs, whispering sweet nothings into its ear all the while, booting up Technomancer after six plus years spent in solemn witness as the formerly fathomless depths of a robust role-playing genre wither before my ever-loving eyes like an Alzheimer's patient or PS4's software sales was a bit like being reacquainted with a dead relative. I mean, role-playing elements? Customizable weaponry and attire? Character stats in an RPG? In 2016? Hold the short bus, Jerry Lewis. According to IGN, Kotaku, and GameSpot, The Glitcher 3 is the new gold standard, and it doesn't have any of those features, but clearly I'm the one who's mistaken. After all, according to the very same publications, the RPG now boasts just two phylums. Before Witcher 3, and after. Like history, only with more pacing issues. Before Witcher 3, we had games like, say, Skyrim, which despite its all-encompassing lobotomization, still at least featured custom-tailored characters, and oh, only sold 20 million units in less than a year, and after? We had The Witcher 3, which sold less than half that number in over a year, with almost no customization, zero RPG stats, an almost identical permafuck perk system, and a main character who distilled to his essence amounts to 50 shades of Eastwood. Doo doo. Welcome to the future, folks! Grab a Soylent Green gazpacho and file the fuck in! Between the pompadours and the microaggression Gestapo, go ahead and put me down for some government death squads. Which isn't to say the Technomancer is perfection extract. Far the fuck from it, in fact. Character attributes? What's that? Pick your gender, where am I, Tumblr? This is gaming in 2016, what is this language you speak? Clearly what you meant to request was a veritable potpourri of pop collars and pompadours. A protagonist who no matter his race, build, or subtle variation of Robin Thicke douche mullet looks like he's shaved with a broken beer bottle. Hey Merlin, if the cyberpunk dystopia of Marsbound Futuredom truly does consist of an amaranthine procession of Ponsador pissants who look like IL-3 and American Eagle finished on their forehead, mark me down for a cyanide sidecar with a Zyklon chaser. But egad the glitches. While the PS4 version I played for comparison was relatively stable, the PC version is ubiquitously buggy. By about the third time I turned my attention to a shopkeep, only to find myself transacting galactic commerce with a hovering pair of disembodied fucking eyes eyeballs, I realized that perhaps a trifle more emphasis had been placed on the console port than on its home PC counterpart. <laughs> Though I do have to frolic through rolling hills of belly laughs when the Jim Sterlings and Total Biscuits of the world chide the game in question for, of all things, the protagonist's name. Yes, folks, apparently when the need grabs you, it's considered in no way hypocritical to criticize admittedly goofy nomenclature like Zack Manser, even when the in-game fiction explains its existence in the same industry that, with no in-universe justification, gave us paragons of name-game nuance like Jet Brody. Take your shitty reasoning and shove it back up your ass. What vocal critics of the title fail to mention is that in the Orwellian miasma of Technomancer and its prequel Mars Warlogs, names are not merely a familial signifier, but a symbol of status, penitence, and station. If Friedrich von Fohawk was born to be and ultimately ascended to the position of Technomancer, he would therefore be societally compelled to take the surname of Friedrich von Manser. Stupid? Yes. Embarrassing? Vaguely. But even if I've seen less cringeworthy names in Gen 4 Pokemon, at least they got explained it, which is more than I can say for a solid 70% of Technomancer's RPG contemporaries. Be honest, bitch, the title of the game is fucking Technomancer! The name itself is a full-body cringe in verbal form. This is Spiders we're talking about. A studio so French even the game manual is a white flag. What the fuck are you expecting here, the Shakespeare sonnets? The narrative itself will never be mistaken for Hamlet of the Globe, chiefly due to an opening act that takes its sweet-ass time providing a reason for the player to give a shit, but if you go along for the ride and allow the atmosphere 
atmosphere and environments to envelop you until the storytelling shows up, you'll be glad you did. In short, it happened in Mars Warlogs, it happened in Bound by Flame, same shit, different game, more refurbished visuals, overhauled gameplay. If that and a sleek slathering of cyber bullshit appeals, give it a whirl. It's middle market, it's innately imperfect, but Fuck if I ain't pulling for this studio. Spiders is on the brink of a breakout, and it'd be a shrieking shame if a flagrantly hypocritical press holding a game made on a couple mil to the same production standard as a AAA title with 90 times its budget unthinkingly wiped out the very last of an extinct species. Fuck IGN. Fuck him in the throat with a dynamite dildo. Do not bury the corpse. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. Let me tell you where things stand. Doo-doo.